Thank you for joining. Today's Masonry Minute, sponsored by MIM, is going to cover a question we get pretty typically on projects, which is, can you use concrete cylinder molds for compressive strength specimens of grout? Well, to answer that, we'll first go to ASTM C1019, which covers sampling and testing grout. The one I have shown on the screen is the 2018 version, uh, but for all intents and purposes, the language has remained the same. So if we scroll to page two, we can see that it discusses grout specimen molds. And if we read through the language, we can see that to form the grout specimen, we have to use the actual units that we're using in construction. Uh, it says specifically in 5.1.2, the construction of the mold shall simulate the in-situ construction. If the grout is placed between two different types of masonry units, both types shall be used to construct the mold. And so typically on projects, what we see is this pinwheel type of construction where we use the actual units that are being installed in the wall. And we're gonna put a lining on the face to prevent the bond, but it's important that that lining is a thin permeable material, which they discuss in section 5.1.4. There are alternative methods allowed and that's discussed in section 5.2. And these specifically are, uh, include drilling cores and things of that nature. Um, so it says specifically other methods to obtain grout specimens include drilling grout filled cores of regular units, filling cores of masonry units specifically manufactured to provide grout specimens, filling compartments and slotted corrugated cardboard boxes specifically manufactured to provide grout specimens and forming specimens from different sized masonry units of the same or similar material, but it does not include concrete cylinder molds. And so if we look at NCMA Techno 18-08B, which is available on their website for free, we can see that this goes through sampling grout procedures. Uh, typically, we're going to evaluate grout consistency with a slump test. And for compressive testing, uh, they cover that, uh, I think, on page five. And so we can see here that this shows that grout mold and that pinwheel type configuration. And it says specifically here, concrete test methods should not be used for grout as they do not simulate water absorption into the masonry units. Grout cubes or cylinders formed in non-absorptive non molds will give unreliable results. So if we think about using a concrete cylinder mold, it's made out of a plastic or rubber material, it's not going to permit the water to be absorbed into the CMU like it will be in the wall. So our water to cement ratio is much, much higher in a concrete cylinder mold, which is typically going to give us a lot lower strength. So back to today's question, can you use concrete cylinder molds for compressive strength specimens of grout? I think we've uh, shown today that these are not appropriate for testing grout. Uh, you're just gonna give the engineer a heart attack when he reviews the compressive strength results. So thank you for tuning in to today's Masonry Minute, sponsored by the Masonry Institute of Michigan. Have a good day.